Hey Cancer, it's Cass from Cass of the Divine Feminine and welcome to my channel. This is gonna be your next 72 hours. I just got back in town. She didn't love me then she loved me now. 9-11 trouble, I'm done. Everything is fast, I'm for real. Who y'all stunting on, Cancer? I'm for real, I'm for real. This is uh, for real. McConan, uh, Destructo, McConan featuring, uh, and Ty Dolla Sign. Pull up on her real slow. Just so she could see me coming. I just had to let her know. I'm for real, I'm for real. See who y'all stunting on, Cancer? Oh, y'all's new, uh, I started a schedule. So, from now on, y'all's day is going to be on Fridays. That's when I'll have y'all's readings done. And if I do a collective reading for uh, water signs, that will be on Mondays. But for sure, um, I'm doing the uh, the individual readings on for you guys on Fridays. Beautiful. Okay, so y'all have playful, meditation, honesty, and at the bottom of the deck, belonging. Got so many hoes. I got so many hoes. And still got time for yours. Hey. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm -mm I'm for real. I'm for real. Somebody wants a higher level of commitment with you guys. Talking, interested. Conversing more, awaited messages arrives, text, call, email, and hovering. That's at the bottom of the deck. So we have wedding ring, um, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. So either somebody wants to marry you guys or you're already married. And I got this playful card with that. Okay. Um with this meditation card I have looking or sunglasses watching looking stalking gaslighting perception and focusing out and then with this honesty card heavy fire energy you have to be dealing with the fire sign um boat receiving what you need progression arriving moving on and closure issues Okay, so let's get some tarot to break this down. I'm for real, I'm for real. For real. Look on a real slow. I just had to let her know. I'm for real, I'm for real. Yeah, if y'all are interested in this song, it's called For Real. The number four, real, uh, and it's by Destructo. He's a DJ. And that's, M M what's his name, McCollin, whatever, you know, going up on a Tuesday, that dude, and Ty Dolla Sign. What is this? Let Me Explain by Bryson Tiller. Is this... So, I, is this that manifestation? He has a, man, a couple of manifestation songs. A couple of songs that are really good at manifesting. I can't remember if this is one of them. Um, so, with this marriage card, you have the star, the seven of swords, and the seven of cups. Tell me more. The Queen of Swords. So there are issues in this marriage. So I'm talking to a Cancer in a either a higher level relationship or in a marriage. There's been some lying and some deceit and some illusions. And now this Queen of Swords is cutting the bullshit because you're tired of it. Bottom of the deck. Can't make it up. Yeah. Could be dealing with the Libra.
Yeah, heavy Libra energy. Okay, tell me about these sunglasses. Somebody, the Knight of Wands, the Page of Wands. Are you married? To, you're married to a fire sign? The King of Wands. You are married to a hoe. A fire sign that is a hoe. Yeah. This, this, your husband definitely. This King of Wands. Yeah, Two of Cups. Y'all are. This is definitely a marriage. This King of Cups is active. This King of Cups, your husband has a habit of keeping their exes around them. They probably, like, they probably be telling you, this person probably travels for work. Or they're, like, in some sort of entertainment industry where they're around a lot of people. So this person, they what they're doing is they have their hoes. They have people that they've been dealing with on and off for years. They literally... When y'all are going through it or when they're not around you, they're hitting these people up, entertaining conversations, making these people think that they're in love. They probably don't even know about you. They probably don't even know that this person is married to you, okay? If you were to reach out to one of these women, they would be like, no, I had no idea he was married. Are you fucking serious? So this person, they they gaslight people in and out of their lives, uh make them feel like they're gonna be with them and then all of a sudden they ghost them and then they come back the knight of wands energy very much in and out of these third party connections it's a lot of communication going on with third parties okay your husband is a lurker and that's kind of like this is giving me creep vibes yeah it's causing conflict these third parties is, is about some drama is about to hit. Okay, we got the chariot over here. Uh, it went in your energy. You, yeah, this is somebody that travels a lot. Could be a you are a cancer. This is your card, but this whoever this is, yeah, this is somebody that travels a lot for work, and they used as an, as they use that to live a double life. Like they take advantage of the fact that they travel a lot. Yeah, this person is given to too many people. Tell me about this. Okay, Cancer. Um, Ace of Wands. Queen of Cups. They just ended something with a Queen of Cups. So, one of these relationships they took serious, more serious than the others. And this part, your husband is feeling left out in the cold. This, your, whoever this Queen of Cups is, if you notice that your man has been depressed and withdrawn, it's because they're fucked up about this Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands figured out, like, this was somebody that they were very passionate with. Someone that they constantly, they probably even ha have sex dreams about. Like, this person, when y'all have sex, they're probably thinking about this woman. Um... Or you could be, the woman could be you because Queen of Cups, this is cancer energy. Um, yeah, they're, this person is fucked up about this Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups deaded the situation and left them out in the cold. Can't make this up. Closure issues. Receiving what you need. So this... Queen of Cups received the information that they needed so that they could move on. Arrive, uh, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. Moving on and closure issues. <laughs> Can't make this up with the honesty. So this came with the honesty card, right? Honesty. Mo uh, receiving what you need to move on with these closures so you don't have closure issues. Passionate with this queen of uh, cups, but she deaded this shit and left this man out in the cold. Can't make it up. Can't make it up. Yeah, this person is very guarded now. The emperor could be an Aries.
yeah, this person is really, so this is going to go one of two ways because this person, this emperor is thinking they're calculating, they're thinking, they're figuring, figuring out what's worth the investment. This emperor is about to make a decision. The wife is going to, odds are this wife is going to, he's going to try and leave this wife so that he can move on. You might want to watch the Scorpio reading because this feels like a, like, the Scorpio reading was, was saying, was about, um, what was it? I, it was something, I'm sorry, I, I have a hard time remembering what I said, but it was something about a truth about a third party comes to light. And the person, once they found out about the other woman, they're moving forward. They're healing and moving forward. Uh, but that one, they're actually healing and moving forward with the relationship with the person that caused the third party. This looks like this is the perspective of some of one of those third parties. So the Scorpio reading, y'all can check that out, is one perspective of this whole third party situation. And this is another perspective. So you could be also dealing with a Scorpio. Somebody could be a Scorpio. Somebody could have Scorpio on their chart. Either way, I feel like that Scorpio reading is very relevant to this reading. So you definitely want to check that out. Somebody is definitely going to end up being single after this. Um, there's an empress here. Let's get an outcome. Give No Fucks by Jeremiah Amigos. Where'd that, oh, I was about to say, where'd that other card go? It's in the cards. It got mixed up. Okay, outcome, please, spirit, for this situation. Someone's no longer going to invest in this. They gained a new perspective with this. Um, okay, so with this, there's a seven of pentacles in reverse. Could be done with the earth sign. Seven of pentacles in reverse, the hanged man, and um, the seven of wands. So, um... Could be dealing with a Taurus. Whoever this is, like, yeah, somebody is no longer investing in, in one of these situations. They gained clarity with this, this seven of pentacles in reverse, the hanged man. But somebody is fighting, fighting something off. Let's see, tell me about this seven of wands. Somebody is definitely blocking something. What? This is, could be dealing with a Gemini. You can't block what spirit has, well, well, we have free will. I can't say that, you have free will. This was divinely orchestrated. And somebody is fighting what was, what, what spirit sent for them. Someone is fighting off with spirit. Either that or this uh, one of the, that was thunder. Oh shit, okay, so um, somebody could be a fucking magician. Somebody, I feel like it's a warlock. I heard warlock, not witch, I heard warlock. This warlock is putting in heavy work, like doing magic to bring back their soulmate. They're man they're trying to manifest communication. So if you suddenly get the urge to reach out to this person if, if it's you that that the person is trying to manifest, that's what it is. Don't be surprised. This person is doing magic to draw you in. Probably doing come to me spells and love spells, all kind of shit to draw you back in so that you can speak to them. Because they don't know how to initiate the conversation, so they rather 
do spell work to get you to initiate the conversation. <laughs> what? Okay, that's what I got for you guys. That's what I have. Hold on. Let me see. One card. Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. Yeah, this is, spirit is blocking the black magic because you have free will. So whatever you decide with this connection and your part in this third party shit, spirit is giving you the opportunity to exercise your free will. They are blocking this magic that this person is doing. This person is obsessed with you. That's what I have for you. Blunt, Bonnie and Clyde by Tink. Oh, I love this song. Somebody is a ride or die. Out of this, out of the three of y'all, somebody's a ride or die. All right, Cancer, that's all I have for you. I hope this, I hope this resonated. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will be posting. Hopefully, I should have my um, website up by the middle of October. To make things easier for you guys to book, I'm gonna def I'm working on some projects that are going to be on my website that you guys might very uh, might really be interested in. So just keep an eye out. And also, I am available for booking um, personal readings. All the information is in the description box below. The schedule is in the description box, and as well, if you would like to donate to the channel, that helps me buy supplies, more smud, uh, uh, more like more frankincense to clear the energy, more cards, uh, more candles, everything I need to keep mine and your energies protected so that these readings are more accurate and we are fighting off some shit. I also will be having some rituals eventually. I, I think I'm going to film some rituals here really soon and those will be available for purchase only. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.